Hello guys, in this video, I will show you how to create a database in SQL Server. A database is a collection of tables, views, indexes and stored processes views. Every SQL Server database has two operating system files, one data file and log file. Data files contain data and objects such as tables, indexes, stored processes and views. Log files contains the information which is required to recover all transactions in the database. This is the syntax. Create database, database name and this containment is optional parameter on primary then we have to provide file name then log on then we have to provide the log file name then we have to provide optional collation settings. We don't provide any collation name it takes server default values. We will create database by using two methods one GUI mode and another CLI. CLI means command line interface. Connect to SQL Server. Now create database by using graphical user interface method. Go to SQL Server instance, right click on this databases and select new database. Then provide the database name. If you want to provide any one name, then click on this browse button and provide. I am going with default one name. If you don't provide any one name, then it will take current login in, login name and here database files first one is data file name and second one is log file and initial size is 8 megabytes for both data and log files and auto growth is 64 megabytes and max size is unlimited and this will be the path to store data and log files click on options this will be the collection setting it has taken default default means it will take the Server default collation setting and recovery model full compatibility level SQL Server 2019 containment type null and if you want to configure any other options then go to here suppose if you want to disable auto update statistics then select this one and click on false at present I am going with all default values if you want, if you want to create file group then click on file groups by default it is going to create primary file group if you want to add another file group then click on this add file group at present i am going with defaults then click on ok to create a database see database has been created successfully go to the properties of newly created database by right click on this database then select the properties then click on general these are the properties database name is auto schools one is auto schools administrator and it is created on this date and size is 16 megabytes space available in this database is 5.7 megabytes number of users memory allocation memory user okay and this will be the collation setting if you want to change one name here we can change it see auto schools and auto schools underscore log ldf these are the mdf and ldf files created in this drive again if you want to add file group click on this add file group if you want to change the options then click on options and change any of them even recovery model compatibility level and collation settings if you want to grant any permission then click on permissions if you want to add any extended properties then click on this browse button and add them okay now we will see how to create a database by using command line interface select the sql server instance and right click and select new query now provide the sql statement to create a database okay database test this will create a test database notice here we are not providing any mdf and ldf file names by default it creates test by default it creates on mdf and ldf files and its initial size will be 16 megabytes it will be stored in in database default file locations then select the command press f5 from your keyboard or Click on this execute button. Notice here, see here, command completed successfully and this is the completion time. 
but observe here the new database not listed in databases to get the database right click and refresh see new database has been listed so in this video we have seen how to create a database by using graphical user interface and command line interface please like and share this video subscribe my channel for more sql server videos thank you